welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be kitting down two diamond paintings. Uh, this one, this one's a Diamond Art Club one that I did, the Snow Deer one. Uh, I thought there's only like 30 colors, so this would be short if I just did one. Yeah, it was this diamond painting here. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I didn't put that one in my logbook. And then I also, this is the houseplant edition of the Paint Gem ones. I think there's actually more colors in this one than there is in my Diamond Art Club one. So I thought between the two of them, this should be a long enough video, right? So let's get started. So what I'm doing is um, putting away, excuse me, I'm putting away the leftover drills from a finished diamond painting, or in this case, two finished diamond paintings. And um, I do keep them in these photo boxes so right now this is my square resin drill um storage um the the what's it called drills come in like two different kinds of drills like resin and acrylic at least for squares um and for squares i can tell the difference um, and I just know the resin, usually, you know, like Paint Gem uses resin drills, Diamond Art Club uses resin drills, Dreamer Designs uses resin drills, uh, Craftably uses resin drills, and on like AliExpress, um, Evermoment, Home Fun, and DPF use resin drills. Um, there's probably more, there's, there is more, I thought there's not probably, there is more diamond painting companies that use the resin drills, but I just haven't done them, so I can't tell you they do. So <laughs> I could probably tell you they do because they say it on their website, but un unless I personally have done them, I can't tell you. Um, I So because, you know, I haven't done them. Um, and to me, there is a slight difference in the quality of, or not really quality, but the way they diamond paint on canvases, the resin drills, I feel like a tiny, tiny bit bigger than the acrylic drills, and then they fit together a little bit better, I think, on on canvases. Um, so I've been separating them out, especially, well, I've just recently started separating them out after I got my 447 pack of, I got like 447 colors of diamond painting drills, and I got like 2,000 of them, and I put them away in these. I actually did it on a video. I, a series of 11 videos um it's finished um, so i look back somewhere in my channel um it should be there and and so yeah i'm kidding down you don't have to keep your leftover drills but i do so because um i've been using them primarily for cross stitch conversions on my leftover drills or um, if you run out of drills for something well you have some some here and air like Joan I have no idea what you're talking about because yeah you're new to diamond painting and sometimes I forget that people are new to diamond painting <laughs> Welcome if you're new to diamond painting. I, I forget that people are new to diamond painting and don't know what I'm talking about. Um, and even if you aren't new to diamond painting, you might not know what I'm talking about because I don't know what I'm talking about half the time either. <laughs> um, um, a lot of diamond paintings come with like a symbol and then there's a number usually after the symbol and that number is the DMC. Um, and the diamond paintings do like here i have 989 dmc here they do tend to match each other so yeah and each of my and my did i say it at the beginning because I've, I've recorded three kidding down videos this is my third one i'm recording in a row so sometimes i can't forget i can't remember what i have said in a previous video or did i say it into this video but yeah i have a card for every dmc um i have a label there um fyi these labels are the labels i've made i save them as a pdf and they are available in my shared diamond painting stuff and there should be a link in the description if you want to use my um, template for the labels 
So I have a card for each one and then I also have a baggie for each one. And I do also have a baggie for each shade. So if there's more than one shade for some DMCs, and sometimes there are. So as much as we wish that they all matched each other, they don't always match each other. Kind of like how a, pa a paint sample might not match. Like if you get white, there might be slight variations on the white. And and each lot number of paint might not necessarily match the other lot number the same of the same color. So I think the same thing happens for these drills too. 988. And so so I do shade match. Um, sometimes I can't tell if it matches. sure it's nice and empty there and then I have a piece of paper on the side that I'm sticking my labels that I'm removing 987 yeah I think that matches If you don't want to, you don't have to keep your drills. I like, I can't throw them away and I like keeping them and I like organizing them. Um, but I know that this is not for everyone. And I know um, that some people don't actually keep their spare drills and that's okay too because it does take up some space keeping your spare drills yeah it takes up some space if you saw like a previous video i had done i showed you all my spare drills that i have i have a lot um and i i've been trying to use them uh mainly for my cross stitch conversions and I've been really enjoying doing cro the cross stitch conversions recently, so <laughs> you might see um, more of them on my channel than you pro probably want to, <laughs> because yeah, you diamond paint what you want to diamond paint, and that is what I want to diamond paint at this point. Although I think it's. Well, I don't know when this video is going to be. Um, it's spring. Um, I do think you, it might have, I might have already done it, um, but I think I'm going. I've, I've been on like a no kit up kind of thing because I have so many, so many diamond paintings already kitted up that I'm trying to do. I'm trying to finish up my stash of kitted of, of diamond paintings that I've kitted up, but I haven't done yet. Um, I think. I think I might kit up something though that's flowery and you might you might have already seen it depending on when this video gets posted but I'm still pondering what what to kit up I, I because with spring I'm like oh I should start doing some flowers I actually don't think I have any more tulip ones to do maybe possibly so I think I have some other diamond, I have a lot of um, flower diamond paintings it's just a matter of choosing which one I'm also thinking um, my first diamond painting that I did was a hummingbird um, and um, my the my the my first diamond painting that I ever did was in 2020 um, in May and it was a hummingbird so I'm thinking I should find something with and it had a hummingbird with flowers I should find a diamond painting I have that has hummingbirds and flowers and kind of do it as a homage if that's the right is that the right word um, to my very very first diamond painting that I did 
back in the pandemic when everything was locked down. <laughs> um, my first diamond painting was done during the lockdown. Um, so yeah, I think I, I think I know what I have like a couple hummingbird diamond paintings with flowers. So I have a couple choices. Um, so I'm pondering. I think I might just do the one that's because I have one that's like a big one, like a 60 by 80 centimeter one. I think I have, I'm going to do the one that's a 40 by 50. Because, yeah, 60 by 80s take too long. Um, <laughs> I diamond paint, I primarily diamond paint um, 40 by 50s and below. So, although I think this one was bigger. So I think I will go for, I primarily diamond paint 45 by 60s and below. <laughs> So yeah, I think, yeah, I think, huh, yeah, I think I know what, I, I, I think I know which hummingbird with a flower diamond painting I'm going to do. So you might already know because I might have already recorded the kidding up or I might have already posted the kidding up, which I haven't recorded yet. Um, six, nine, nine. But yeah, I was like, I need to do something with flowers. Why don't I have anything? With... I am. I, I did actually start like just last night um, for me. Uh, a diamond painting that I had kitted up for over for like a year already, and I was like, "Hey, this one has flowers. I should do this one." So I started it yesterday because I was doing my heaven and earth designs um, um, one, and the one I was doing was like this gloomy kind of like wintery scene and I was like why am I doing this gloomy wintery scene I need to go I'll go back to it and but I'll I need to do some flower down here even though I did just do a flower <laughs> I did just do a bit of flower my last heaven earth design was a flower with um it was a butterfly with some flowers And then I could go back to the gloomy one during the summer. Um, I'm not really into like the summer pictures, like the stuff with beaches and things like that. So <laughs> I could go back to my winter diamond painting in the summer. But for now, spring ones, I do like the flower diamond paintings. Yeah, the stuff with beaches. I mean, they're 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 okay, but I'm not really into the summery summer summer summer. Summery summer pictures. And then it'll be back to fall. I can do my fall pictures. And my Christmas ones. I do like doing Christmas pictures too. So yeah. I'll go back to doing my gloomy wintery ones during the summer, but for now, maybe I think I'm in, I might switch off and go do some spring pictures. Actually, one of my heaven and earth designs is pretty spring, spring like, but I don't know if I I'm up to it right now. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Three one eight steel gray. So far, these have been matching pretty well, and now I'm gonna jinx myself because <laughs> the next ones are not gonna match. Oh, someone doorbell. Let me pause. All right. It was someone soliciting wanting to do my yard work which is f or some of my yard work i don't know what the going rate for doing <laughs> the grass and stuff like that um it's like pondering i'm like pondering like do i do i do i do this am i am i that lazy can i not do the yard work myself <laughs> it's those things that you think about
but yeah, this was a person that I've I've had do some of my stuff um, before. Like I had them put in um, some bark, like clean up the stuff and add some bark um, before. So I think they were hoping to do like a monthly plan with me so that they'd mow my grass. But I'm like, I'm okay with mowing my grass. It's the weeding that I don't like doing. Uh, so I was asking, I was like, so is that including like taking out the weeds too? And he's like, no, that's separate. I was like, ah, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm willing to mow my grass. What I'm not, I don't, what I don't like doing, like mowing my grass is not hard. It's the weeding. I, I don't like doing the weeding. So I'm hoping I have, um, I did pay for this service where they come in and um, they did the aerating, they did some like something with lime, I don't know, they were, and then they were putting in the fertilizer and they just did some moss treatment. So I paid, I paid, um, it was like a professional service. Um, the one that came by is not really, it's one of those um, kind of more under the table landscaping places, if you know what I mean. So, but the other place I'm, I was having, I'm hoping that my lawn gets better um, with the, all the, they, they, they aerated it, they fertilized it, I don't know what they, they, um, and they've come uh, several times already. I thought they were only going to come like a handful of times, but no, they've come several times um, to do a whole bunch of stuff. So I guess we'll see. But... <laughs> Spending money is one of those things that just kind of is like, ah, I should just spend the money because I don't want to do it myself. But I'm like, ah, I could do it myself. <laughs> yep. But I think, I think it's coming up to at least, oh, okay, so you might see this like three weeks later, but um, it's coming up to the point where I have to do my first, my first um, lawn mowering, lawn mowering um, after, you know, winter, winter, because it's spring now, although you wouldn't think it's spring with how cold it is. Uh, so, so like yesterday. Um, my internet went out for a little bit, so I, or when I woke, like when I woke up, the internet was not working. So I call, um, and I did all the normal things, you know, power cycle my modem and all that stuff. Um, power cycle my router. I I power. There was a lot of power cycling. I did a lot of power cycling, and then, and I was like, well, you know, maybe this is just a short one, and it'll be up. So then I waited about 45 minutes and the, the internet still wasn't up. So I called um, my internet um, provider, which, so then I called them and you know, every, you, you don't talk to real people right away nowadays. Everything's some automated thing. So then I go through the whole automated thing um, and they're like, we're going to like, I don't know send a signal to your, I forgot what the words were. I, I think they, they were, they were going to ping my, my, my location to see if my internet was working. And then the, um, and then they're like, we can see that there seems to be a service interruption for your, um, thing. So then they're like, we, we, we need to schedule a appointment or something for someone to come. And then, and then they go and say something like, and if, if it's not on, it was pretty much saying that they were, if, if the reason the internet wasn't working was because of me, like something stupid I did, like the, you know, 
and I could I get it. There are some people who will call a service call and find out all they needed to do was replace some equipment and they didn't need to go here. And I was like, but they were like, if we go there and we find and and if the reason the internet's not working is not on our side, like not on fault on their side, I'd have to pay them like I forgot what it was like. I think it was like eighty nine dollars. Um, and then and then was uh so then I was like. And then, and then I was like, okay, fine. I think I've, I don't think it's on my side. So then, so then the next, they were like, the next available appointment was this day. And I was like, oh no, 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 that's way too far in the future. I was like, I need my internet. <laughs> I need my internet to work. So, so then I was like, do, they were like, do you want to, is this, this appointment work for you? And I said, no. And then they were like, well, the next available, I was like, no, 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 no. And I was like, talk to real person. I was, I just was like. I, I need I so and then somehow I think they understood what I said, so I ended up getting transferred to a real person. Um, so then the real person, the real person, um, I told them I was like, yeah, hi, um, my internet's not working. I've power cycled several times. My power cycled my modem several times. Um, and I just want to know, and and the automated system said that um, they would send a service tech, but I didn't want to have a service tech person come in if all I needed to do was replace my modem or something like that. So, so then I explained that to, to the person and she's like, oh, okay, let me go check to see if your, um, if, um, if the service is interrupted and then she did a whole bunch of things. And while she was doing the whole bunch of things, she was saying how it was cold where she was. And I was like, I was like, why, what, what temperature is it? And she's like 75 degrees. And I was like, how is 75 degrees cold? That's like t-shirt wearing weather for me. <laughs> 75 degrees. Um, I like need the AC when it's like 80 degrees or something. I need a, I, it's hot for me when it's like 80 degrees. Okay. But yeah. Um, I just thought that was funny and then she was like oh. and she was like well I'm in Texas and apparently she wants it to be a hundred degrees and I'm like I, who wants it to be a hundred degrees apparently she does <laughs> I'm like you guys are I apparently am I can't live in a hot place <laughs> I've lived in cold places too much too much of my life But anyways, um, it ended up being an actual, like, the service in my area was gone or was down. So, so she said that, um, she will have some, like, it was not just me. So that someone was already on their way or something. I don't know. So then, but she said that it, she doesn't think it's a bit, she doesn't, she hopes that it's not a big problem. And if... And if um, I still don't have internet after like an hour to call back again. And I was like, okay. So a little bit more than an hour, probably like an hour and a half later, I call again. And then the automated system was like, oh, hi, Joan. Because it says your name. Because they're like, because, you know, they figure out who's calling from the phone number or something. Um they're they're like you just called recently are you calling about the same issue and i'm like yes um and then and then once i said yes they were like there is a service there's a uh outage in your area expect the um service to be back at 12 30. so this so when i had called it was like probably 7 30 in the morning so i was like oh wow that's that's much longer than just one hour so I call again at about one o'clock and <laughs> because my, my stuff still was not read, it's still not working at um, one o'clock and they were like, there is an outage in your area. Expect the stuff to be back by 4 p.m. I was like, oh my gosh, it went from what they say, 1230 to 4 p.m. <laughs> I was like, huh, okay, apparently there is no, no internet, no internet. And apparently we do so many things with the internet. I mean, I still had the internet on my phone because I had data.
But one good thing, at least it wasn't one of my work... Well, I guess if it was my work day, what would end up happening was it wasn't a work day. Um, if it was a work day, what would have happened is I would have left home and went to work. So I would have worked in my... at work. But yeah, no, it was just... The, the the internet did get back on about three, so it was before four. Uh, well, I noted, like, so then, so then, oh wait, so when I, I called, they're like, do you want to get called when the internet is back? And I was like, okay, yes. Um, that's what, oh yeah, that's why I called at one, because I had gotten a call um, at like 12.30, say, um, around 12.30, saying that it was, it was resolved and I was like oh it's resolved it's not resolved for me so I went and power cycled again and nope it wasn't resolved so that's when I called back again and found out the 4 p.m. one it did get back working at 3 um, though so I wonder what was wrong it was one of those like when my power goes out I, I, am, I am signed up for the text notifications for my power company for when the power goes out they usually say, oh, the power is out. We expect restoration on blah, blah, blah. And then they, and then when they're like, the power should be back on at your um, address. And the reason for the outage, vegetation. That's usually the number one reason for any of the power outages in my, in my area is, it says vegetation. So those trees, because <laughs> there's a lot of trees. Washington is the evergreen state. Um, it was one of the things that weirded me out when I first moved here. I was like, why are there so many trees? I was not used to having so many trees. Okay. So yeah, apparently we do too many things on the internet. But what I don't get is why I got that call at like 12, I think it was 12, it was like 12.45, I think, or 12.30, saying that my my stuff was was um, resolved when it wasn't resolved. That's what was weird to me. Okay, so... Let me remove this. Label here. So it would be ready for another diamond painting. there. So now I have my Darman Art Club one here. Uh, okay. Did I put these in order? Okay, these are ABs, so I'll do those last. Okay, 435. Do I leave these? No, these are in alphabetical order, so they're not in order. All right. It doesn't matter, I have all my boxes out. 435. So yeah, it was probably good that I did, I'm, I'm kidding down to two diamond paintings, because that first part was shorter. Eight one four. Three seven one. This one's a dark brown. Four 
498. Red, dark. to 10. Yeah. So far, pretty decent matches. Thirty-nine. This is very dark blue. Six, six, six. It's usually like the Christmas red. Three, three, two, five. Oh, I should have a lot of this one left over. This must have been a predominant color. Three, three, two, five. It's like this one right in the front. Now, if I have two shades of this, I don't know if you see this. There's just slightly different colors. It looks more like this one. Three forty. Three one two. everything has matched so I don't think I've had to write anything in my labels here I have it I have it ready because um, did I say this is my third did I tell you that this is my third kidding down I'm recording in a row um, I kind of feel like this one actually does not match unless it does after I put the plastic over it, yeah, it does match. Okay, there's 
some excess plastic resin drills than to have like these little bits of plastic. Three, seven, five, five. Three, seven, five. Oh, I don't know if you'll be able to tell. There is a slight shade difference. This one is just a little bit different than that one. It's just really, really slight. I'm gonna mix it just so that this light shade difference won't be as noticeable. And then when I use these as um, in a diamond painting, uh, it will be not as noticeable either because it'll be a little bit more mixed up. Three twenty one. This is also a very common red. I think it's slightly darker than 666. Happy that most of them have been matching. Because I think someone at some point, I don't know, in when I was putting away those drills, my 447 color drills, asked, I think, if it matched Diamond Art Club. And I'm like, well, I don't know. Maybe they are both resins. And this is a Diamond Art Club. But this is also an old Diamond Art Club. Um, I think this one was from 2021, I think. So, is that considered an old time? Is that an old time in Mark Club? Um, so, and I've heard that the Diamond Art Clubs don't necessarily match each other either. So. So I guess it just depends on the lot of drills. And I think at some point after 2021, um, Diamond Art Club changed manufacturers for their square drills. So I could be wrong. Interruption there. Okay. Uh, next one. Three, eight, six, five. I actually have a lot of this one left over. This is winter white. Oh, okay. It actually matches this one. I think it might actually match this darker yellow. I mean, this darker white, this more yellowish white than the white white. Nope, it pro it's lighter than this one. Is it darker than this one? No, it, it matches this one probably more. Because I poured some in there and it's it's much dark it's much lighter.
Yeah, okay, it does match that one. So a lot of white. Three ten, only have a little bit of that. Usually this is one of those like predominant colors where you have so much of it. This is black. But I think this was a relatively light colored diamond painting. some two different shades too. I have two shades of this. They're one's more pink, one's more purple. This is one is. I feel like this is the lighter one. No, there was just darker. Eight twenty-three. There's so little of this left. Actually, two shades of blue in this. There's like a slightly lighter shade. But it's a dark color. You won't be able to tell the difference when it's on the canvas. The lighter colors, you could tell. 898. A good amount seven 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 five okay am 
my last kidding down video is still is still processing in the background. I think I'll be finished with this video before it's done processing. My last one was a little bit longer than this one just because I had more colors. It was my Heaven and Earth Designs one and those tend to have like 80 something colors close to 90 colors and this one I had this one I think had 30 and then the other one had maybe slightly more than 30. So it might have been just like about 60 something colors. Right, and then last two are ABs. I actually do have like a have a conversion chart for Diamond Art Club. Because I don't know if you know this, Diamond Art Club, their ABs are not the DMC number. So I do I do think I have a conversion chart. Do I? Where is my conversion chart? Okay. I have an old conversion chart. I know there's a newer one that has more colors. Um, let's hope it's in it's one of these older ones. Um, I just haven't printed a new one. 129 is 3078. Okay. Well. So all my ABs are here. Uh, I'm hoping it'll fit. Oh, my 3078 is full, like super full. So I'll have to put this in my spares, um, in my, so this is 947. Do I have a 947? Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't think I have a 947. This is a dark orange so if I don't have 947 probably still have a sticker for it maybe no no I don't have a sticker for it did I put this in red yeah I put 947 in red but this looks totally like an orange. No, no. It actually looks like this 970. Do I even want to make an effort to make a 947 bottle for like that many drills? So I think I'm just gonna put this in 970. Just because the ABs, seriously, just adding the coating on it skews the 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 the, the shade enough that it's. Use the um, shade enough that you can't really tell if the bottom, the bottom um, color is slightly different. So this is my ABs that are not in those bottles because I have tons. This is why I bling up pretty much as much as I can, or as much as I want. Not necessarily can. I could I could bling up a lot, but. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Because there is actually such a thing as too much <laughs> blinging up. Okay. All right, so there is that kitted down. So now I could use this for something else. I do tend to use my zipper cases for things that I think might be kitted up a long time. <laughs> and this was actually kitted up a long time. Um, I don't remember 
but it was several months <laughs> that I had this kitted up. All right, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I might just toss it. Yeah, what am I gonna do with this? All right, so that's all I have for today. So thank you very much for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.